Man, this really rustles my jimmies. This really grinds my gears. This really gargles my fun pocket. This, I'll tell you people, this, this really tickles my Jeremy. It is, ah, this was going to be like a review of the, um, the hate, the Incarnon hate. And, uh, you know, all of the cool stuff you can do with that, uh, with all of the new bonuses and whatever. And we can, we can go through that too. We can talk about the hate because, you know, it's good. Incarnon hate is good. But it's got one big problem, and that big problem is a holdover from something they were planning on doing before that they didn't do. Uh, and what I'm talking about is the plans that they introduced uh, late 2022, I think, or early 2023. Um, no, late 2022, I think. Of uh, reintroducing self damage into the game something that i am a big proponent of i think that warframe was a better game when self damage was in the game so i was very excited about seeing them talking about reintroducing self damage into the game but as always some people complained and digital extremes like they always do they just listen to the complainers and they they don't stick to their guns so Whatever good idea they have, they just abandon it because they probably are listening to the wrong people. That's just my opinion. But um, suddenly, after being pretty far into development, they uh, stopped talking about adding self-damage back into the game. And uh, now it seems like that's just that's just gone. It's not not on the agenda anymore. And now we're getting more power creep and more like big AOE weapons and all of that jazz but here we see some problems from this because this I'm gonna guess that the Incarnon hate and this is probably true for most of the Incarnon melees is that uh, these were designed back when the idea was still to remove or like to add a self damage back to the game because what they were gonna do is they were gonna add back self damage but remove self stagger because self stagger was something that they introduced uh, when they removed self damage back in the day so for all of you new players out there uh, if you're wondering why everyone and their mother is running primed sure-footed boom here in the excellent slot for 100 percent knockdown resistance it is because self stagger is the most annoying mechanic in the entire game and if you can remove self-stagger, uh, you will. Because no one likes playing with self-stagger. Especially with all of the big explodey AoE weapons that we have in the game nowadays. And uh, what's interesting is that a lot of the Incarnon melees have uh, some sort of explodey thing attached to it. Be it a projectile you launch on a slide or on a heavy attack or from the air or something but we didn't really notice it i think until now probably just because everyone is running primed shore food but let's build up um the combo on the on the hate here so that we can activate the incarnal worm and then i'll show you uh just what the problem is shall we yeah Okay, so now we're at 6 combo, and I can do a heavy attack, and I can activate the Incarnon form. So now we have Incarnon hate, look at it, yeah. It looks, it looks rad. Now, what the weapon does is every time you do a normal light attack, see there? It launches a projectile. Cool, right? So, uh, this just turned the, the hate into a gun. Or rather, like a, you know, an axe throwing weapon, I guess. If you like being an axe thrower. It's pretty cool. Now, here comes the problem. You see, this axe that you throw is an explosion. So what happens if you accidentally throw it a bit too close? Look at that. I got knocked away. So I'm throwing it and... Oh! Ah, I just knocked on my feet again. 
I got knocked on my feet again. Oh, oh, knocked on my feet. Every single time I swing this weapon, I get knocked on my feet. So, do you think that's fun? Do you think it's fun to suffer from a a knockback uh, on every single weapon swing? Because I can tell you for free, like, it's not. It is not fun at all to suffer from a uh, a knockback every time you swing a weapon. Uh, in fact, it's it's kind of the opposite of fun. Uh, it's super... Oh, look at that. Knocked on my feet again. That's what I get for swinging my weapon. Oh, knocked on my feet again. Um, no, knocked. Knocked back. No. You, oh, I got staggered again. And unfortunately, that's what it feels like to uh, use the hate. Oh, I got staggered again. Got knocked, knocked down. On, oh, staggered again. And uh, this is the worst. This is like actually the worst. If you do not have primed shore footed in your Exilus slot. Oh, uh, knocked on my feet again. Or if you have uh, some sort of Warframe that can give you status immunity. A couple of different options for that. Uh, Rhino, when he activates his Iron Skin, he's immune to knockdown, so he won't notice that this is going on. Um, Titania, she can cast Spellbind on herself. She won't notice that this is going on. Uh, Neja with Firewalker. You know, there are uh, quite a few like, status immune Warframes. So they're fine. They won't notice this. But if you don't have status immunity, um, and you try to play with the Incarnate Hate, uh, you're gonna get, like, actually angry. Like, like upset. And, um, what really saddens me about this is that they've already announced that they're looking at it. Right? They're looking at it. But what the problem here is, is that the solution to this is not gonna be to revisit self-damage. <laughs> the solution is going to be to just like remove the uh, the self-stagger on, on the incarnal weapons specifically. And I don't know like how they're gonna do that. I don't know if you can do that, just simply negate self-stagger on like one specific set of weapons. But um like, the, like the, clearly the actual solution is to just remove self-stagger from the game entirely. Because everyone hates self-stagger. No one wants self-stagger to be in the game. And it's not even good for build diversity. This whole thing that we have to use Prime Shore Footed in the Exodus slot. Um, so, or, or you have status immunity. If you don't have status immunity, you just always have to put... Uh, prime short footed in the Exodus lot. You can't even get that until you're at like how many hundred login days? Is it like at 300 days that you can get it? So it's a necessary quality of life upgrade that um, you can't even get until you're well like a year into the game. And the thing is, like, it doesn't even have to be self damage instead on the Incarnon weapons, right? I mean, they could, they could have self damage on those. But um, uh, that wasn't even the case back when self-damage was in the game. Not all projectile weapons, or like not all radial attack weapons had self-damage. Only some did, like rocket launchers or whatever. But just because you had a radial attack didn't mean that you necessarily had self-damage on the weapon. But when they switched it to self-stagger, then everything that had a radial attack got self-stagger. Even things that didn't have self-damage before. So, it's fine. You can just, please, <laughs> Digital Extremes, go back to the idea of working on putting self-damage back in the game. Please, I beg you, do not abandon it. Self-damage is good. It is good for the game. It makes for a more skill-testing and fun game experience. People are fine with self-damage. You're fine with the additional self-kill if you kind of just mess up and, and do something stupid and you kill yourself as a result. People are fine with that. But everyone hates self-stagger. Everyone hates it. No one enjoys it. No one 
thinks that the game is improved for even having self stagger in it. There's like nothing you hate more than just having your gameplay just be interrupted and just being stopped in your tracks, even if it's just for like half a second. It sucks. It feels bad. It is unfun. It makes for a less enjoyable game experience. So, uh, the fact that that um, these incarnate weapons were probably designed uh, right back when they were planning on removing self stagger from the game and putting self damage back in, but then they changed their minds. But then they still put out the incarnate weapons in this shape and they didn't think about this and now we have this stupid thing where we can't even like use the incarnate hate because it it feels so bad to use it if you don't have status immunity it is just such a dumb oversight and it, it's it's just it's so pointless it doesn't have to be this way <sighs> ah that's the rant that's the rant, people. So, if you have a status immunity, right, should you get the incarnate on hate? Is it like a good pick? Yeah, hell yeah, it is. Hell yeah. The hate was already, before, like a, a very good weapon for heavy attack builds. And we have a bunch of stuff now that's like good for a heavy attack build. The first upgrade, you can have like initial combo in there. Which is great if you don't want to do like a combo based heavy attack build uh, with condition overload. I mean with blood rush. Um, and you just want to go for the, the easy constant swinging of heavy attacks without bothering to build combo. Then you want initial combo instead. And with this uh, you can actually get like initial combo up to, to times 3 on every th swing. Which is nice. Uh, or if you want to do the... Uh, the combo version of a heavy attack build or just a combo version of a normal uh, melee build you can do that too but only if you only have a melee weapon equipped this is if you want uh, the full set of stalker weapons dread despair and hate uh, then you get the initial combo but that's fine if you're just going to do a melee build right there's also the uh, the incarnate on dread you're saying and the incarnate on despair you can do full incarnate on uh, all the time, big stalker. For the, the third evolution, you can have more range, which is nice for any kind of build you want. You can have heavy attack wind-up speed if you want to do a heavy attack build, or you can do combo duration if you want a combo build. It's just it's just versatile. There's no cool gimmicks or anything here. It's just it's just solid stats. And then you can do like the classical thing of more crit chance, more status chance, or more crit chance. And status chance so it's like it, it it gets really nice stats nice versatility it's you got a lot of good picks here for many different kinds of builds and it's gonna work for all of these builds and it's gonna be strong for all of these builds it's just gonna be a really really solid good melee weapon and then it's also gonna throw projectiles on every swing with every normal light attack and that's gonna suck unless you have status immunity. If you have status immunity, it's gonna be a cool gimmick that's gonna make this weapon even stronger. So, yeah, they just need to, to uh, do something about this issue. But like I said, and what I, what I dread, and what I hate, and what I feel despair over, uh, see, see, see what it just did, is that that cool plan they had putting self damage back in the game uh, I don't think they're gonna stick to that I don't think self damage is coming back anymore they just stop talking about it and and pretend like they never talked about it so someone got cold feet or they got <laughs> some decree from somewhere that like hell no you're not putting self damage back in the game <sighs> I don't know I don't know what happened but we're not getting it you heard it here first people we're not getting it so instead they're probably gonna do some sort of band-aid fix of just I don't know either removing self stagger specifically for the incarnal weapons if they can do that or just remove that gimmick entirely from from the hate and just make it sort of like boring as a result i don't know i really hope i'm proved wrong i really hope that they are still planning on putting self damage back in the game and the if that's the case that might still be some time away because they're working on other stuff for now which means that 
uh, the incarnate hate might just be this like super feel bad weapon uh, until then. So, if you are someone who did pick the incarnate hate and you want to know if it's good or not, it's really good. It's really good so long as you either have a prime chore footed and can put that in your XL slot or you run with a Warframe that has some sort of status immunity. Be it Rhino, be it Neja, be it Titania, be it Revenant. What do I know? There's a bunch of status immune Warframes. And if you have status immunity, you're good. You're good, you're fine, you're going to have a great time with the hate, it's going to be a really solid pick, it's going to be really strong. If you don't have it, um, <laughs> you're probably not going to have a good time. And you're going to be like, why am I Why am I constantly stopped in my tracks? Why am I, why am I just knocked to the floor every second when I'm trying to use this? Well, now you know. So, there's my frustrating review of the incarn on hate thank you for listening as always if you like the video leave a leave a like consider subscribing helps the channel in in any way you can and thanks for watching love to have you here love to have you as a listener and i'll see you again tomorrow for something completely different